Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create PowerPoint animated infographic template. The beautiful animated infographic template, which is complete with 3D that you will learn to create today, looks like this. As you can see, this sets the scene up. Then if you want to talk about, say, 30% completion, you use this option, 50% completion, 70% completion. Isn't that beautiful? It's a very simple infographic to create and it never fails to catch the attention of your audience. The best part is, once you learn how to create this basic graphic, you would be able to change the shapes to come up with some really interesting looking infographics that captivate your audience. Even if you want to keep things simple, not use any complex shapes or complex animation, you can still achieve a really stunning result that can take your PowerPoint slides to the next level. So let us learn how to create the basic one that I was talking about, which is this infographics in 3D from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to create the base shape. So I'm going to go to Auto Shapes Gallery in the Home tab, go to Rectangles, and I'm going to choose this shape here called Rectangle Rounded Corners. I'm going to hold the Shift button as I draw a squarish rounded rectangle. The next thing is I'm going to right click, go to format shape, go to effects option, and I'm going to choose 3D rotation. And the preset I'm going to use is under parallel. And this is the preset I'm going to use called as off axis one top. Then I'm going to change the shape fill to say a gray color like this. And I'm going to remove outline. And let me go to 3D format and I'm going to increase the depth to say around 20 points. Now, if you want to make it look a bit fancier, you can always add some kind of top bevel. So let us go to the effects option. Under 3D format, I'm going to go to top bevel here. And let me choose this option called cutout option. And you can see that the shape looks a lot more interesting now. If you want to change the material, you can go for special effect like this. And let us make multiple copies of this to complete our infographic. To make multiple copies, we are going to duplicate one shape and then we are going to stack things up. So let me show you how it is done. I'm going to select the shape, press Ctrl D. I've got a duplicate made and I'm going to keep the duplicate right above this. And this is very important. Make sure that whatever that you want to adjust, you adjust at this face itself. You can see that I have two smart guides that help me to align everything properly. Now this is perfectly well placed. From here on, all I need to do is to keep hitting Ctrl D so that I can have the remaining of these shapes done. I have two of these copies, so I'm going to have eight more copies. So I'm going to press Ctrl D once more, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So we have got our base shape ready. Now, whenever you design a 3D shape, one of the things that you need to remember is not to leave this hanging in mid air like this. You need to have some kind of shadow, some flooring so that it seems grounded. So I'm going to select only the last of these squares. I'm going to go to the effects option, go to shadow, and I'm going to apply this one called as offset center in the outer shadow option. And I'm going to increase the size and you can see that now the size is beginning to show and the size that I have chosen is 113% for our shadow. The reason why I chose only the last one is if I were to add shadow to every one of these shapes, then the whole thing would look quite unnatural. So we need to have only the last one having the shadow. Now, the next thing is I want to add some kind of a floor. So I'm going to use a simple rectangular bar like this, right click and send to back. And I'm going to choose a very light gray like this one. And I'm going to go to shape outline, say no outline. Now we have got our floor ready. Now that we have the base set up in place, we need to have some of these shapes change color to indicate percentage infographic. So I'm going to select the bottom one, the next one and the next one to indicate 30%. I'm going to go to animations. Let me close this option here. Let me open animation pane so you can follow whatever that I'm doing. 
then let me go here and the animation that I'm going to apply is called object color and this is how the default color changes. I want to change it to this one of the standard colors, red color and this is how the color changes and I want to change the timing. I want to keep this fairly quick so I'm going to say 0.2 seconds and I want to have these from the second onwards happening after previous so that it's a bit more dramatic. Take a look at this one. Can you see here? It really looks dramatic. Now that we have the animation in place, it is essential for us to literally spell out the percentage completion by writing our number here. So I'm going to go to Home tab, go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up this text box tool and I'm going to say 30%. I'm going to choose a thicker font than the basic Calibri. So let me go here and find something thicker. Maybe Alpha Slab 1 or Arial Black. Any of those would work just fine. And I'm going to increase the font size and I'm going to place this somewhere over here. And I need to have this number fade in. So I'm going to apply animation and I'm going to say fade. And the default duration of 0.5 seconds is just right. And I'm going to say with previous. Now, take a look at the animation. I'm going to go to slideshow. First, you can see that the base graphic is in place. Then on a click, 30% is shown. Really beautiful looking, isn't it? Now, once I create one of these, I can always create my variations. For example, if I want to create something that shows 50%, I can select everything, Control D. So now I have a duplicate of this and I can move this over here and then I can make changes to this one to say 50% and I need to have two more shapes having animation. So I am going to go here and I am going to choose object color. We are going to choose the same standard color which is dark red and we are going to choose the same timing which is 0.2 seconds and we are going to have this after previous and we are going to move this just above the text animation and we have got everything in place. Now take a look at how the second one also plays after we have the first one shown. The second one we have 50% completed. Once I have these base infographics in place, I can make my own variations by changing the shapes. So I am going to click and drag across all these shapes. Make sure that you are able to pick up every single one of these shapes. And then go to shape format, go to edit shape, go to change shape and choose a different shape, maybe something like octagon. Can you see here? This looks really awesome. And the best part about this is animation is already done. So when I go to the slideshow mode, you can see that it looks really cool. You want to have a circle, you can have a circle. Since we've used a beautiful 3D bevel, we have such a beautiful looking infographic. Now all said and done, this is not a data driven infographic. If you want stunning infographics that are fully data driven, you can choose the options in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This templates collection has more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that take care of every possible need that you can have for professional presentations. I'm going to show you five examples of data driven infographics from our comprehensive all in one PowerPoint bundle so that you can see the kind of stuff that we have in this really useful product. This one is a data driven infographic. Now at the face of it, it might not even look like a data driven chart because it looks way too cool compared to any of the regular charts you might have seen. But the moment you go here and click on this, right click, you get this option called edit data. When you click on that option, you would be able to have this workbook open up and you can make the changes here. Let us say instead of 80%, I want to show say 62% and I'm going to hit enter. Instantly, you can see that the change reflects directly on the slide. You don't have to do anything else to create these kind of stunning looking infographics. Another example is this one. Yes, this also is an infographic which is totally data driven and let me show you how this changes. I can go here, right click, go to edit data and instead of 9, if I want to say 5, I can say 5 and hit enter. You can see that the data label changes, the graphic changes, everything changes pretty beautifully. Another example of this is this one where you can see that we have percentage completion shown as a dial. Another option is a battery meter like this. 
all these are fully data driven and the one final example I want to show you is this infographic which actually is data driven I'm going to select this and I'm going to right click and go to edit data and we have right now 64% shown and if I want to make my changes it's fairly simple I can go to this workbook that opens as soon as I go to edit data and I can extend this all the way down and find these yellow cells where you can make the change. So instead of 64%, if I want to say 78% and I'm going to hit enter, just one number is all that you change. And I'm going to close this and we already have 78% pretty beautifully shown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70% and then this is 8%. So you just need to go here and make your change as 78% and your slide is ready. All these templates and more is available for you to use ready-made when you get our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and come and check out this particular product and see how this product can change the way you create your presentations. By the way, did you like this tutorial where you learned how to create animated infographics in 3D that can be quite versatile? If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want creative tutorials on PowerPoint and Excel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified about any new videos we release on this channel. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.